Hello, everyone. Welcome to Core Connection. This is our new class. Um, I'm Caitlin. This 15 minute foundational class will focus on core engagement. We will working, we'll be working on staying connected through full body, glute focused, core focused movements. Exercise that increase abdominal pressure, like crunches or sit ups, will, be not, will not be included in this class. And this class is great for anyone who also wants to focus on their core strength. Um, it's also safe for those who are currently pregnant or are postpartum. Make sure you always get your doctor's approval before starting a new program. Um, and I am currently in my third trimester for pregnancy, so follow me for modifications. I'll give plenty of other progressions if you want to work a challenge during this class. So thank you so much, and we will get rolling. So today's class is going to be 25 seconds on, 20 seconds off. We'll be doing two rounds through each group of exercises. Our first one is going to be a bird dog. So I want to just take a couple extra seconds here to get set up for this motion. You're going to be on all fours. You'll feel a nice wrapping around your ribs, and you do that by Pulling in and up, staying nice and strong. You want to make sure that you're not sucking in ever. It's all coming from that strength and connection through your core. We're going to bring our elbow and knee together and then extend out. So we'll be coming in and then coming out. Um, if you want, you can add in a little bit of a crunch in and extend out. Or you can just go through that motion and extend out and feel that lengthening through your core. We're going to pair that with a quadruped arch. So we're going to be on all fours again. Extend that right leg. Tap to the back. And then tap to the side. Tap to the back. Tap to the side. You'll feel a nice little burn through your glute. <laughs> okay. All staying connected through your core. Starting with that 25 seconds. But bird dog, right arm, left knee. In three, two, one. So, again, feeling that connection here. Coming in and extending out. Feel that lengthening. Check in before you start every rep. Is your core engaged? You feel that wrapping around your ribs. Perfect. We have two reps here. Last one. Good. Shake it out just a little bit. Again, we're going to stay on all fours. We'll go with our right leg first. Feeling that wrapping before we get started. Extending that leg. We'll tap to the back and then tap over to the side. Okay? Starting at three, two, one. We're on. So no movement through your core or through your hips. It's just a little bit of movement through that leg. Back and forth. Feel a nice little burn. If you want to increase this difficulty, don't let yourself quite tap down. Bring it over and back. And perfect. Okay, we'll be switching over to the other side. So bird dog, this time it's going to be our left elbow, right knee. Getting ready to go here. Starting in three, two, one. We're in. We're on. <laughs> Perfect. Crunching in, standing out, or just bringing that elbow in. Knee comes up. You feel that lengthening through your core, all while staying connected. There's three, two. Okay, again, shake it out. We're going to be going over to that other side. Let's so tap back, tap to the side. Tap back, tap to the side. Or if you want it to be a nice challenge, don't quite tap down. Okay, connect to that core. And we're on. Back to the side. No movement. Through your back, minimal movement through those hips. Perfect. 
Perfect. Three, two, one. Okay. Good. Then take a nice little breather. If you need to go sit back into a child's pose, feel free. I'm going to be starting to explain our next couple exercises. So if you have a weight or a shoe or an object close by, feel free to grab it here. Give me a nice light object. We are going to bring that object down towards one knee that's on the ground and then up and across. So not a ton of motion or rotation. It's all strength and stability through the core. We're going to minimize motion on this one. We're going to be pairing it with a wrapped or a single arm uh, press while marching. So this one, if you do have a heavier object, you can hold it in the air, core stays engaged, and while you're doing this, you're going to march. Okay? It looks easy, but if you have a heavy object, it will be challenging no matter what. Okay, so those are two. Let's get rolling. Pick a side. Starting in three, two, and one. We're on. We're coming across and up. Minimizing rotation on this one. Staying strong for your core. Perfect. Focusing on that breathing. And good. Okay, we're going to stand up. This time, if you want a heavier weight, feel free to switch it out. You can either hold your weight up here and march, or if you want to be more challenging, put that arm in the air, find that core engagement, and then march. Ready? We're on. Good. Take your time here. Feel that strength. Awesome. We put that arm out to the side. Last one. And perfect. Okay. Coming back down to that chop, switching sides. So I recommend a little bit lighter weight on this one, a little bit heavier on this second one. Okay. Let's get rolling. Three, two, one. We're on. All that stability right from your core. If you just feel loose, like you're just going back and forth here, focus. Taking your time each rep. Three, two, one. Okay. Standing back up. Again, racked for a little bit easier option or strict press overhead for a little bit more challenging option. Adding in the march in three, two, one. We're on. Good. Driving that knee up. Good. We have 10 seconds feeling that strength all the way through. If it helps to put your hand on your hip or on your belly, and perfect. Okay, awesome, awesome job. If you feel any tightness through your hips, feel free to go into a quick pigeon or just stretch here while I explain these next couple exercises. So we're gonna be going into a glute bridge and then pairing that with a plank. So, we're going to be adding a little plank shift if you would like. So float bridge, you can also do this up to a couch or a chair. So be on your back, feet in close to your body, pressing those hips up, and then come back down. If you want to make this more challenging, feel free to put weights on your hips as long as you maintain really good form. We're going to be pairing it, like I said, with a plank shift. So you can be on your hands here. Shifting through those toes, forward and back, or if you want to modify, 
you can come up to a couch or a chair or a bench. And here, pushing through, the higher the object, the more modified it will be. So just make sure you find the right object to keep your connection. Okay, let's get ready to go here. We're going into our glute bridges, starting in three, two, and one. Round, press those hips up. Again, adding in the weight. You want a little bit more of a challenge. Squeezing your glutes at the top. Last rep. And yeah, perfect. Okay. We're going into that plank shift, either on the ground or up to an object. Okay, starting in three, two, one. And then pressing through your toes. So again, feeling that wrapping around your ribs. If you feel like you're losing connection to your core, if you feel any toning, make sure to increase that angle. Go up to a higher object, high enough so that you feel that connection the whole time. And perfect. And back down, going into our glute bridge. Good, in three, two, one, we're on, pressing those hips up, come back down. Last couple reps here. And perfect. Rolling onto your side, rolling on over into that plank position. Okay, going into our plank shifts next, starting in three, two, one. Again, before you start that movement, feel that strength, and then you're on. If you ever feel like you're losing connection through your core or through your midline, take a break. And then when you're ready, come back in. Here's three, two, and one. Okay, awesome job. Grab a quick drink. We have two final exercises today. So we have mountain climbers and we have side planks. Again, stick with that same modification we used for that plank to go into your mountain climbers. These are not gonna be fast ones. These are gonna be slow and really focused reps. So in that plank position, feeling that core strength and engagement, you're gonna drive one knee up and then drive the other back and forth here. We're gonna be pairing that with a side plank. So hey, many options for side planks. You decide what works best for you. You can start here with both feet or both knees down. You can extend one leg or if you want more of a challenge, you can lift that leg or going into a full side plank or a lift. Okay, so you choose what option is best for you. Okay, two final rounds today, let's go for it. Starting with our mountain climbers. In three, two, one, we are on. Again, you can be on the ground, or up to an object. Nice and slow here. Checking in. You can feel that connection every rep and in between reps <laughs> all the time. There's three, two, one. Perfect. Okay, going down to the side plank, pick a side. Remember which one you chose. Starting in three, two, one. Good, pressing up, 
You can either hold here or if you want to add in a lift, go for it. Awesome, feeling that wrapping around your ribs. Any little breaks, take them. There's three, two, and one. Okay, last round of the day. Here we go. Back to those mountain climbers. Keeping that focus, even if you're getting a little tired here. There's three, two, one. We're on. Feeling that strength. And then start the movement. Again, if you're not feeling that connection, Take away the mountain climber aspect. And just focus on holding a plank and connecting. There's three, two, one. Perfect. Okay. Switching over to that other side. Final exercise of the day. Make it the best one. Getting ready here. In three, two, one. Good. Pressing up any of your options. And if you would like, add in that motion. Wonderful. There's three, two, and one. Really, really great job today. Thank you so much for coming. Again, keep coming back each week. We're going to be progressing some, and then we're going to also start working on our breathing and just core engagement and connecting through our breath. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Check out the rest of the new Q2 schedule.